how is Rwanda looking at balancing innovation and regulation? For us, um, really, these two things must coexist. Uh, it's not having to choose between one or the other. And how we do that, it's really ensuring that we have an environment that enables innovation uh, to thrive uh, in a responsible manner. We've uh, done a couple of things, starting with the policy framework that we already put in place and that was accompanied by our ethical guidelines that were designed to ensure that the way we develop AI solutions and deploy AI solutions across different industries allows for us to do it in an ethical and responsible manner, but also while thinking about issues around bias and discrimination that could come from really the type of data that we're using to train uh, these models. Um, secondly, we're also looking at, we've already put in place regulatory sandboxes, which becomes very important because globally what we're seeing is that with AI innovation, all of us as policymakers, as regulators, we are trying to catch up with the pace at which AI uh, is evolving. And so to do that, we've been able to create regulatory sandboxes that allow us to test and learn um, while we're really deploying some of these AI solutions, responding to some of the fundamental challenges that we have in society, but also doing it in a responsible manner. And I'll end on two things, uh, which is really around creating a network of researchers, because as you think about AI development and deployment, it starts from how you design these solutions, uh, creating a collaborative effort where we de co-develop some of these AI standards, bringing together the academia, the policymakers, the tech companies, to really build these standards that are going to guide how we develop many of these AI solutions. 